Today we're in Porto, a beautiful town in Portugal. I'm gonna be using my camera as a tool to explore the city. Porto is the first city in Portugal that I've got to visit, and it did not disappoint. Along with the espressos, the pastel donadas, and the very friendly people of the city, Porto is very beautiful. I think that Porto is most well known for the river that runs right through the center of the city. Before visiting Porto, I knew absolutely nothing about it. I'm not even sure why we went to Porto. I think we just heard some recommendations that it was pretty incredible. All we really knew is that it was in Portugal and that people had a great time there. There's a pretty iconic bridge that runs right there. It actually reminds me of the one in Sydney, Australia, but this is Portugal's version. I wanna try and just shoot the cable car in between this thing. There it is. All along the banks of the river is all of these walking paths, homes, and restaurants, and they all overlook this awesome river. It seemed to be a pretty nice mix of tourists and locals that were in the center of the city. We spent the majority of our time on the north side of the river. One of the mornings we decided to go to the other side of the river, and that seemed to be where the cruise ships would let out the passengers and they would have their day trips there. I'm sure there was more there, but that's just kind of the vibe that we got. Apparently these subs are some sort of Portuguese specialty. It wasn't a complicated sandwich. It was just bread, meat, and then the sauce from the meat poured on it, and it was so good. What nobody tells you about Porto before you go there, actually Europe, is how much you're going to walk. Porto was insane. Everywhere is on a hill. And the funny thing is, people just live on these hills too. They party in these hills. They spend time with their families in these hills. They have restaurants on the street in the middle of these hills. They have patios in the middle of these little walkways on the stairs. I really loved how Porto was extremely walkable. Everywhere was within about a 10 to 15 minute walk, if not less. I loved all the different angles you could explore the city from. Even if you weren't taking photos, it was incredible to see the bridge and the river from above, from down below, from on the bridge, from the other side of the river. There was just so many unique alleyways and rooftop bars and rooftop patios, as well as interesting people. Something I really loved about all of these people grilling in these tiny little streets was that all the smoke would come out of the grills and it would fill the streets and give a haze and atmosphere to the area. I walked through these streets the day before and nothing really caught my eye and then this smoke really caught my interest and helped me see it in a different way. It seemed like everyone who lived there set up a table in front of their house and was selling some sort of beverage or food item. This guy gave me a sample of his street meat. It was pretty good. The lens I was using for walking around was the Tamron 28 to 200 because I didn't really know what I would be shooting. So this lens allowed me to shoot at 28 and catch things a little bit wider from when I was closer to people and also take some sneakier shots of people at 200 where they didn't realize that I was actually taking photos of them. So on this particular day, when we woke up and before we left the hotel, Somebody in the lobby told us that it was St. John's Day. We had no idea what that meant, but we noticed pretty quickly when we got outside, the streets were much busier. So by about three or four in the afternoon, we realized that St. John's Day was a bigger deal than we had actually expected. People were setting up speakers, there was grills, there was alcohol everywhere, and the people were just singing and dancing like their favorite team just won a sporting event. The young people were into it, the old people were definitely into it. So there's a bunch of traditions, apparently, around St. John's Day. One of them is to light up these paper lanterns. I've always wanted to see paper lanterns like this. I know there's like festivals and stuff that do them. So it was really neat to experience something like this. It was super dark and crowded out, and so I'm sure all of these photos are very dark and noisy. I don't really care, because I was just there to capture what was happening. Along with the lanterns, there was the hammers. 
I'm told that another one of the traditions of St. John's Day is to hit each other on the head with hammers. Apparently before the hammers came along, you would hit each other on the head with a leek, like the vegetable, and somehow it evolved to the hammers. I think it's safe to say this is the most people I have ever seen in one place at one time. It was so crowded to the point where it would take me 10 minutes to move 100 feet. To finish off the evening, at midnight some fireworks were set off from the river and everybody stopped to enjoy them. And they were like a pretty good show. They lasted for probably 15 minutes. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for sticking around, and please leave me a comment about what you thought of Porto. I have a few more videos from my visit to Europe that are still on their way, so subscribe if that's something you'd like to see. I'd love to hear from you, otherwise we'll see you in the next one.